<laughs> Do All not right. like. <laughs> we are now live. Yeah. Okay. We're recording yes. anyway. Oh, so, uh, well, last oh, hold time. On. I've actually got one more second. Okay. One more second. <laughs> one. Well, we're only recording. Let's continue the witty banter. Yes. Obviously. He's gonna get, he's gonna go get something just absolutely horrific. He's it in that bag of horrors. <laughs> well, let's take, let me make sure we still got turn order from last time. Actually I have a over under going right now on uh if that bag is gonna kill me. <laughs> kill all of us with some of my real life friends here. <laughs> I explain, the ones that do understand D and D, I'm like, all right. So this is what's walking around with 24 seven. A ticking time bomb. Ticking time bomb. It's really bad. Actually. Nah, it'll be all right. Obviously. I think that's what two of the votes in the chat said. Right. We'll be uh, fine. That what doesn't kill you will make you wish you were dead. Yeah, I'm just curious which one of those votes was you. Like, did you vote we're gonna die, or did you vote we'll be fine? <laughs> How many votes were there? Uh, two. There were three. Sorry. I didn't vote. One person. Twice. You didn't. <laughs> did you vote twice, Clay? I might have voted three times. It's <laughs> hard to say. <laughs> I would believe it. No, I put a IP checking on, so it won't do duplicate votes. Because <laughs> I know what a troll the fucking Pikey is. What? I just don't get notifications for Discord, so I never see the chats unless I specifically open the app. You could probably turn on notifications for us. I try to, but my phone doesn't like it. This is the only Discord channel that I keep just alerts on, so I, you know I don't fall behind. Yeah. Is uh is my character like token in the turn order like super small? Mm, no, that's the flame skull. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're right about the flame skull. Yeah. Didn't we kill the flame skull? Yeah, flame skull's dead. Perfect. I can remove it from the turn order. Okay, so the last person to have a turn was was it Jeff or was it? I think it was Jeff. So it's... I think it, I think it was Jeff. Yeah. So that means Scout's up next. Mm, okay. But before we do that, should okay. uh, let's let's wait for Jeff and give him an opportunity to bring us something extra fucking creepy. Sure. Okay. Please no. He was he's probably checking on his uncle. Yeah. He's probably putting part of his uncle into that bag. But which part? <laughs> Just come here. I've got the tin snips. This won't hurt bad at all. <laughs> Not okay. Well, we can go ahead and catch up and do oh, a quick yeah. recap. Uh, does anyone would anyone like to recap for us? Pikey's the storyteller. What uh, Pikey she's, has no idea what happened. Sorry, she's the, the bard. The bard is the storyteller. Story <laughs> Tell the story of the party bard. <laughs> Yo, so we went into this cave and we fucked some shit up. A, Are like you sure a, a lot that of sounds like an exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we walked in full tuxedos, full dress garb, everything, and we said we're gonna fuck shit up. And we just we started fucking shit up. <laughs> I mean, I see killing the bugbears or no. the undead or the jelly no. twice. Nobody even got like super close to dying. Does we're the jelly covered. count twice, or does it count as part of the undead? No, I got Smoky. Little... You fought a jelly and you fought another jelly. So you fought Smoky a jelly. You fought two jellies. That might have been the same jelly. I don't know. I think you do. I think you really know. I, but I anyway. I for things all the time off screen. Like, do I know this? Do I know no. this? Nope. But no, the um, that jelly. I remember the jelly. The jelly turned into a wall. Yeah, that um. That smoking grabbed her. Starting her mining operation. Knife out and slowly picked away. Of course, we all laughed at first, but, but here we out. are. 
in the middle of climbing out of that hole and trying to find There's no more climb. hole. I fixed that. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. So Numi can get through because he wouldn't fit through the hole? <laughs> yeah, it's a pile of rubble now. Uh, like, like shiny a, it's, rubble. It's like a, if you need a imagination picture in your brain, it's like <laughs> gray <laughs> uh, jello gravel. <laughs> On the ground. Great jello gravel. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you for that imagination picture. Ten to one, it goes in the bag. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> He's not here, shut but that's what that. Yeah. Shut up, you shut your dirty room out. Okay. That's why I did it when he wasn't here. I know. Did what? So, who, <laughs> nothing. Nothing happened while you weren't here. Who's taking me up on that, though? Anyone? No. No one is going to take you up on that. They know it's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, so la we've uh, we've caught everyone up on what's going on, Jeff. I think you maybe remember what happened. Mostly. Okay, so it's it's Scott's turn. Okay. What do you okay. want to do, Scott? Um, Run away. You've got a bunch of zombies about to rush into this room as fast as zombies rush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because fucking Jeff didn't close the door. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Obviously, that's the cause of all of these problems. Not me, not me failing to sneak. <laughs> to be fair, he did close the door and he propped himself against it, and he then rolled drop. like a five on a strength check. <laughs> yeah, five. So somehow some zombie went. Uh. The door exploded, <laughs> Michael Bay style. Yeah. They, they used one of the zombies as a battering. I'm going to move back into the room and hold my action. Okay. Uh, the next up is Danielle, whose character immediately falls to the ground unconscious. She has been ridden, or she's been attacked by sudden AFK syndrome. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Smoking is AFK? Yes. Smoke. Oh, okay. It's a terrible disease. It can happen to anyone. Anyone. Can we put a marker on our token so that we remember? Oh, absolutely. I'm sure I can find a great one. It's like a sleeping sickness. Um, bullseye. <laughs> Perfect. She was literally hit by AFK. <laughs> Got it. Next up is the Pikey. So they went back into the room. I was under the impression we were the fuck away. Oh, Jeff never got out of the room. No, I know. Scott went back no, in. No, I, I know Scott went back, probably for Jeff. For Numi. For Numi. I don't exist in this world. No, not at all. <laughs> we haven't broken that wall yet. So, all of the... Everything in that room is dead. All the bugbears were just running away from the Zombies that are on the other side of the other. Yes. But they are presumably going to start shambling in any moment now. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I got it covered. Totally. When you say everything is dead in this room that y'all are in now, remember, yeah. there are two things that are undead and then killed again. And oh, then yeah. There's three bodies. They are really dead. have his head. Yeah. Like, dead's definitely a relative term because uh, yeah. the zombies were dead and now they're back. And... They are, I just mean. Okay. okay, so we will say that they are currently incapacitated. Are, yes. I mean, it, it could turn into a, you know, we're fucked situation very quickly. Surprise. But <laughs> for right now, they are on the floor and not moving. <laughs> You're fucked! <laughs> okay. Um, actually, uh, I'm going to hold my action until I turn. Okie doke. We got two people who are scared to move. Don't worry, the zombies Don't you? will not be holding their act turn. Oh, yeah. Don't you have to declare what your action is to trigger it? Do you for a whole action? I mean, if I if I do, I know what I'd like to do, but... Um... I, yeah, I, I had one in mind I was going to do. Yeah, because uh, it's ready, which is choose a a trigger and a response reaction, so you have to say what you're going to do and what causes it to happen. Fair enough. Okay, well, if that's the case, I'll retroactively say that the first zombie that comes through the door is going to get hit with a magic missile. 
I was under the impression that you were taking yourself out of the turn order and you're going to reinsert yourself. But this is fine too. If you don't actually, if you don't move and don't attack or use your action, then I guess you're removing yourself from the turn order. If you would like to react to something, you're setting a trigger, and you have to declare what you're doing going forward. Okay. Okay. So now that I know, I'll just uh, what I was going to do only takes a short action anyway. Um, I wanted to uh, move to Numi and uh, touch him with Nance ability. Ooh, I like that. Isn't he still in Nance ability already? No. No. It wore off. Okay. It's just temporary hit points once the yeah. hit points are gone. Oh, yeah, once they're, once they're gone. They're going, they're going, going. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to, are you going to, is that a trigger thing or you're just, uh, let me or are you just you. doing it now? Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now and I just put it in. Okay. Once I can find it. All right. She has used uh, 15 movement to get it to Numi. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all are super concerned about Numi. Well, he's the one that would benefit the most. Excuse me. So yeah, she's she's in melee range. Yeah. So two d six. Is that what I roll? Yeah. Or does he roll? Do I roll it or does he you roll? Your spell. And I get advantage on constitution checks. Oh, what is it? Slash roll two d six. Slash roll two d six. When something explodes out of your bag. No, there's no. When the portal opens <laughs> to the abyss. When whatever happens happens. Roll space two d six. And the, uh, the, the, the the shambling beast. So he gains uh, six additional health. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. God bless you. <laughs> and you still have some movement left, probably 15 feet. Well, since now the rest of my deal with that, um... I'm just gonna move. Just a smish. <laughs> just so I can survey the bullshit happening. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it's the zombies' turns. What? what? See, they got 20 feet of movement. That's good. They're gonna shut them. Shamble in. They, uh, they shamble into the room. Kind of stagger around. Okay, a little more. Let's see if there's any more back there. It appears to be one more left. Did did the music from the mall and <laughs> Dawn of the Dead start playing to come yeah. through? <laughs> Need to find a pub stat. Stat. The Winchester. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quick. As the uh, the zombies shamble in, and. Uh, they kind of spread out so they stop bumping into each other. And that's all they get. You're up, Grab. And that's just the four zombies on the right hand side of the screen. Those four, Correct? Yes. Those are like, the, I'm not missing anything. Those are the only zombies that shambled in. All right. Um, so I'm going to move to here. And I am going to ready in action that the. Uh, First zombie that comes within 30 feet of me gets shot with both barrels. Okay. I like it. Oh, so did we trigger your spell? Um, that first one that shambled in should get hit by a uh, should get hit by a magic missile. Okay, what level? It's a first level spell. So I mean, what level like, spell slot are you using? First level. Okay, so do some damage. Right. Let me ah, stupid sheet. Uh, let's see if this works. I tried to reconfigure everything. I got the closest I've come 
so far to getting my second monitor picked up. I actually looked for the cord this time. Oh wait, that's right. They they automatically hit on the roll for them. <laughs> Sorry, what's going? I said I don't. I forgot. I don't have to roll for those. Okay. Yeah. I know. Um, the first one that shambled into the room takes eight damage. Boom. Uh, isn't it one d four plus one per bolt? Yeah, actually, you're right. So add three, so eleven. Eleven damage. All right. Okay. Well, he goes down to. Uh... Let's see. If he needs to roll a. It's time for everyone's favorite game. Uh, undead constitution check. And you did eleven damage. Plus five. Yes. He's gotta roll a sixteen or higher to survive. Will fail. If I can click on him. Those bolts are going to slam right into his eyes. Okay. Come on now. Open up. <laughs> there we go. What is that on your arm, Pikey? Tattoo? What kind is that a little wait, hold on. A little um shortcake? Strawberry shortcake? Yep. Cake? Is that what that is? Oh my little pony. Ponies. <laughs> and uh, that's Care Bears. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, and there's Rainbow Bright. The trifecta. Oh well, dang. <laughs> So how does the zombie fare? Uh, he is retarded. <laughs> he is retarded as fuck. And doesn't know how to roll. <laughs> that poor zombie. Ruptured. Right in his prime. Let's see if we can disable some security or something. He just came back. And you, and you, and you, you oh. Don't worry. I'm stupid. It's not the zombie. <laughs> That's a dead zombie. One of the zombies is punctured by uh, magic missiles as force, putting multiple holes in his chest before he goes down. And he crumples in the middle of the room. So, Grep ready's his action. And now it's Correct. Oh, well. Well, well, well. Do you feel invigorated by the defeat of the zombie? You're gonna stray back <laughs> in the battle. Um, yeah. Let me look at my spells. Do I have any slots left? I think I used them all. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've used all my slots. Mm, as I was gonna say, I could bless the party, but I don't know if we're gonna need it at this point. I think we've got this under control. I guess I'll ready in action. Well, I'm going to move forward one. Move forward one? Mm hmm. And then I guess forward and down. Because they can't cross through that table, right? Unless they like shamble over it. It's like an obstacle. So that yeah. would become like. Okay. But yeah. And already next. like walk by it. It doesn't take up the full square. Okay. Um, the first zombie that comes within range, I'm going to smash them with my Warhammer. Okay. We're gonna hey, I got to step away for a second. Okay. But it's your turn. Yeah, <laughs> but it's... Uh, uh, um, we'll fire a firebolt from back here at one. <laughs> at this guy right here. Okay. Let up. 22. Yeah, 22 is a hit. Seven damage. All right. Well, uh, time for an institution check. All right, I'll be right back. All right. Well, damn, we were like all. He lives. We he were lives. all thinking that this was gonna be all crazy, and then there's a bunch of like, I guess zombies shambling through the door. Yeah. No. Next up is Danielle, did... who is still passed out. She doesn't need an action. <laughs> Next up is Pikey. None of us saw that spider that dropped down and bit her and put her into a coma. No one sees anything over there. Gretchen's the only one close by, actually. Yeah, I've got lines like to her. 
and to the stairway. But that's not really anything going on there. We hope there's nothing going on there. We hope. We will oh. pray. What is the. Is, oh, that's not what I'm trying to do. Five, ten. So all the it's just these three zombies here left. Yep, those three zombies. And one of them is damn near dead. The one on the far left or the north. Was it the north or the bottom one? Or, or, or is, is it the bottom? South? One? It's the bottom. South one. Just took a hit from firebolt. Firebolt and survived with an undead constitution check. Just barely. <laughs> just barely. <laughs> Uh, well, let's uh, let's viciously mock him while he's already down. Well, that's Fuck him, Punky. Disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him, Punky. Okay, so what is that? A wisdom saving throw? Um, yes, it is. I believe. Uh, seems I find it. I cannot find any of my spells today. Um, yes. Okay, big one damage. So first right. he's gonna do a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. After I tell him that we can beat his entire sissy squad he, with one member tied on. He's offended <laughs> and saddened by your vicious mockery. So let's say okay, so he's got disadvantage? Yes. Disadvantage on its next attack roll before the end of its next turn. Okay, so now that you've done one damage, he has to survive a constitution saving throw. The force of your words has created intense pressure on his skull. Intense. Yeah. It's not that intense. He's only got to get a six to survive. Uh, one. Boom. Uh, he shakes it off. He's what? at disadvantage, but he's like, now I'm going to bite you. Yeah, but <laughs> so we'll do that as disadvantaged. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next up is the zombies. Yeah. He's gonna get as close as he can to Pikey and try to bite him. Why wouldn't he? And he's gonna step on the bugbear. Oh, stop! Up, up. And now he's in front of Jeff. That's yeah. thirty feet. Grub triggers two attacks. And I smash yeah. him too. Okay, who would like to go first? Grep, I will... You go first. <laughs> you go first. Cobalt's first. Okay, go ahead and uh, do your damage. Alright, then I am at advantage because he's next to Jeff. That's a crit. Alright, did that damage. Is it 13? Yeah. <laughs> So he's got to get an 18 or higher constitution to survive. Mm -hmm. If he goes down, he bolts <laughs> right in his head. <laughs> he goes down he's hard. <laughs> he's, got, uh, he's got crossbow bolts for eyes right now sticking out. <laughs> he goes down. So um, that was only one action. I did not use my bonus. If another one is a bonus as well, or is that... Well, he's moving close too. Is he within thirty? Yeah. They would shamble up together. It's all they they all have their turn at the same time. You wanna go ahead and offhand roll for that? Uh twenty one is a hit. You're a beast. It is a hit. <laughs> he is, quite literally a beast. Yes. <laughs> Just laws. Laws. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's still three fingers. The magic touch. Yeah, he kicks that other guy out of the way so he can be seen. Uh, so minus five. He ta he's got a crossbow bolt in his chest. He seems to be unaffected, but he takes some damage. And one, two, three, four. Here's the next one. Arr, freaking bugbears all in the way every time. So <laughs> I think that every time. Sorry, you cut out, Clay. I'm sure you were making a passive-aggressive statement at me. No. 
Oh, <laughs> 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 no, I was saying that way. So that things don't play, they should just die. Force the blows and it slides them all the way up. Oh, I got you. In the middle of that, over and over again. <laughs> uh, next is actually Grep's turn. Wait. Because he uh, moved within range, I'm going to hit him. Is he within range? Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and strike at him. I did my swing, so it's 20, 23? 23 is a hit. Six. Six. I am. All right. I will I will take your advice into consideration, Clay. I agree. <laughs> no, he won't. Just if they, if they die near your feet, I want them there for a reason. Keep that in mind. If they die near my feet, my feet are gonna get moved. <laughs> Alright, now uh that zombie took some more damage. Now it is Grep's turn. Um, Grep is going to attack the zombie again. Okay, go ahead and attack the zombie again. Nine damage. Uh, which one are you attacking? The one that's north or south? Uh, the one adjacent to me. You mean diagonal? That is adjacent. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, 21 hits, 9 damage. Is that everyone's favorite game, Constitution Save and Throw? Yeah. Yes, we'll do, what, uh, 14? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling good. Feeling lucky. <laughs> 18. Oh. oh, he's a hardy one. Yeah. He's a meaties. Somebody meaty ate one. their weedies. <laughs> so, uh, their meaties. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Would you like to try the offhand? Offhand goes for a twenty-one. It hits, takes three damage. He has to survive an eighteen or an eight saving throw this time. Can he do it? Um, if he tries hard to believe in himself, he can survive an eight. For the sixteen, he's holy. in the game. First, that was a seven. Yeah. Next up and is Jeff. Holy water. As an action, you can splash the contents of this flask onto a creature within five feet or throw it up to 20 feet, shattering an impact. In either case, it does 2d6 radiant damage if it is fiend or... And you have holy water in your inventory. I do not, but I will start keeping some. Okay. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> <laughs> we had a chat about this. Yeah, we were talking about that. Oh. I was like... right. <laughs> Where did that come from? Is, there, is that just a Christmas wish list that you're reading out? <laughs> it's like, it sure would be nice to have some of that right about now. Right about now. But like instead of holy water splashing, what you're going to do is... Swing and miss. Give him a hug. It's ten. Well, actually, that might not miss. It doesn't <laughs> miss. It hits. Fuck yeah. Ooh. Forceful hug. <laughs> Seven. Seven damage? That means it's time for a uh, 12 or higher constitution saving throw. Zero. A nine. Sweet. He goes down. You pound him with your hammer, and he goes to the ground. There's only one more zombie left, guys. I don't and know there's no more pouring through the door, that. either. Say what? I said there's no more pouring through the door, either, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could have, could have been endless ranks of the dead instead it was just like a pack of the undead. A pack of roving dead. Don't get a false sense of security. Yep, Scott. I'm going to cast Firebolt at the remaining standing zombie. He puffs out his chest. He's ready to take it. Oh. Wow. <laughs> he, he Eleven. It hits. He takes it. <laughs> he takes it right to the chest. He takes a whole three damage. All right, well, that brings him down to zero, so he has to survive a constitution saving throw of eight. Come on. I rolled a one. I rolled a one. <laughs> He's still in the oh, game. Damn. It's like Son a game show, and yeah. there's no winners. 
The next roll was a 10. How about that? Another All 10. Right. Daniel is still on the ground, unconscious. That's funny. Pikey's up next, though. Well, I haven't mocked this guy yet. You haven't Wait, given him a hug either. Ooh. Not big on hugs. Not with the gooey undead thing. It tends to get sticky. I mean, and that's... If you're too cowardly to run up and hug him and you just want to yell at him across the room, you do you. Oh, oh, I do me. <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> she, she knows how to take care of herself, don't you worry? Obviously. <laughs> is it time for me to make a wisdom saving throw? I believe it is. All right, he takes, he'll take four damage if he doesn't survive. Is he a smart zombie? He's not a smart zombie. Oh, not a smart zombie. Okay, so we got to do a constitution saving throw of nine or higher. I mean, at this point, I'd insult him, but there's nothing he's going to understand. He steals himself ready for this hit. It hits him, but his undeadness might save him. It might. It did. Oh, come on. He's at disadvantage for his attack, but he's still in the game. What the hell are you feeding these zombies? <laughs> meaties. Meaties. So many meaties today. I don't remember Clay. what I was giving this advantage for, but this net looks good. <laughs> Clay, oh, I thought you had a zombie. two cats uh -oh. in the background. It's just one cat. One? Two? Oh, it's just one cat. <laughs> it was the mirror. Like I was like, oh, there's two cats walking Three. back there. And then I saw him trying to look at himself. I was like, oh, shit, it's the mirror. Four. Oh, uh, look. Hi. He is at disadvantage. He wants a big old zombie hug. Does he? Let's see what he can um, do. Numi should get an opportunity attack. He what? Oh, yeah, he should. I did. I'm getting Would it. you like to go ahead and opportunity up? Yep. That's a hit. Ooh. Big hit. That's a big hit. Let's see if he can get a 15 and survive it. I believe in him. He wants to get a bite of Pikey. 22. Come on! What are you fucking oh, rolling with over there? I got my magic dice out. Mm -hmm. Okay, here he goes. He's uh, rearing back. He's going to headbutt you right in the mouth. Please, no. Can I hit him first? <laughs> if you wanted to give him a hug, you should have. He uh, oh, he hits for 19, or he does a 19. That hits you, right? What? Yeah, it does two damage. Apparently. Your AC. Yeah. No, but yes, it, it does. does. My AC does 19 damage. You're dead. Get on the ground. Damage. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. It's two. Fatality. <laughs> That's like a dragon slash does 19. <laughs> So he spits on me for two, and I'm slightly grossed out. He headbutts you for two, and grazes your cheek. <laughs> In a sensual way. Yeah, well, enjoy that glitter. It's yours forever now. It's never oh, coming out of that. gross. Stripper <laughs> Grep, you're up. Are you going to put some bolts in him? Just Four. a 12 hit. Hear me out. You could give him a hug. <laughs> uh, a 10 and a 12 hits, because he's a stupid zombie. He's a stupid. And six will make him roll uh, 11 constitution saving throw to survive. We haven't tied this game yet. I rolled a two and a six. He rolled an eight. He takes, he takes a bolt Yay. in the face and finally goes down. He <laughs> finally goes down. down. Drops to one knee. All right. Yeah. The room has been cleared. I know what then I'm doing. I'm going to use movement. Oh, combat's over. Oh, combat's over? Combat's over. Alright, let's all get the fuck out of this goddamn room. Yeah. Not that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. wait, wait, wait. Would you wait. like to go forward, Scott? No, no. He called to me when I was at the door, so that counts. <laughs> Eek. Does uh does does Snow Keen have a sword on her? She uses a sword, right? 
Yes. I'm sorry, Jeff. As you left the room, you glanced over your shoulder, and that bugbear that you uh, beheaded mm -hmm. starts to stand up. Which one? The one that you Gallaghered. This one? Stop Gallaghering them. <laughs> no, it's the one north. So when I Gallaghered him, does that mean his head exploded? Like he has no Yes. Okay, so he is a headless zombie. And he is rising. Quick, shut the door. Let's run. <laughs> There's no door there. Y'all destroyed that door. I was I was going to suggest that we hack all of the zombies so that they cannot rise in. I was heading out to get the sword to come back and just start going to town on these uh, bodies everywhere. We'll see, Jeff. Or we'll see what happens, Clay. <laughs> I mean, I think that's a fair question, that's a fair at least. Question. And you'll find out if you fight him. I don't see how we're not going to. Maybe Stephanie can use her wily charms. Seduce the bugbear. I think he's too stupid for me. On a headless bugbear zombie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he is a tiefling. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know, maybe he's into that. <laughs> So, uh, would would someone like to do something before shit happens? Can I rush back in and smash it? I don't think I can. He doesn't have a head. There's nothing that will work on Um. No, as he's standing up, I can't see it, so there's nothing I would be doing about it. The only, I the only people way. still in the room are Pikey and Jeff Sonos over his shoulder. Oh, good. I mean, we can just, like, leave. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We still have to, like, get through this shit, so... There's... So... There's Where was the other way we were supposed to go? I mean, this was the route, or we could have gone up the hallway. Yeah, we so we've not... You could go all the way. I, I mean, I, I thought we were fighting. Right We've not been up these stairs. Yeah, we haven't. When we went that way, there was an army of the undead yeah. that we've spent the last two sessions fighting. Well, guys, I'm hurt pretty bad, so if anybody has any healing, that'd be great. I do. Um, I still have my lay on hands. I only do if we rest. <laughs> I will lay on hands you real quick. Well, hold on. So I am walking out the door, and I look behind me. Oh, shit. Bugbear. What do I do? That's where we're at right now, right? Yeah. Yes. As soon as you pass the threshold of the door, he started to rise. Okay. So let's just... I'm going to continue walking through the door and close it behind me once Pike comes through. I'm yeah. sorry, there's no door. You flashbang the shit out of this door. Yeah, wasn't well, it? And then the it was awesome. mm -hmm. We're going to make ready right here, then. Or I am, at least. I'll wait right here. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go around me, Pikey? Yeah. I'm going to shimmy my way out of this fucking room. Yeah. Around. And hide behind Apple. Get scared little. So while I'm standing here and the zombie is still rising, I'm going to lay on hands for Scott for um, 15 points of damage. Haven't you blown through a lot of your lay on hands already? Mm mm. Because I regened it the last time. I haven't used it on anybody since the last rest. Do you regen it after a long or a short rest? That's a good question. I will tell you in one moment. Mm -hmm. um... Well, okay. Then let's say I have 10 points left. Because you're right. It does not regen on a long rest. But I don't I didn't use all of it. I know I had some left. What do you think? Ten or five. How much how much do you have? Or I how much 20. is the max hill? It's twenty. Twenty? Why don't you roll a D twenty and see what you have left? Okay. You have six left. Okay. 
I'm going to heal Scott for six. All right. And I will go down to zero. Well, here comes the uh, bugbear zombie undead. The undead. What? Wait, wait, wait. The, uh, let's go ahead and add him to initiative. That's what you do, right? That's how you play. That's how you Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. We are never going to get out of this fucking room. This is going to be a long dungeon. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, we're in the fucking first room. <laughs> this is a this is a five month long campaign. Uh, so, if, if maybe we engaged, do have time to buy, you know save up for play tickets. <laughs> if are engaging this thing in combat, Pikey, it's your turn. We're maintaining we? the same turn order from last time. Oh, okay. Because I don't think it makes sense to roll. I don't feel bad for you, Clay. You did this to yourself. I know. Just the second line. Are you Are you sure, though? Oh, I really hope it's a good one. I'm, I'd be curious to hear it. What? Oh, I just said. Come on, Pikey. Give him a big hug. Just run up and be like, ha ha. Oh, really? You think that's not? I'm just, I'm just gonna go jump and no. The last time you met a bugbear, I feel like there was some fondling going on. Yeah, the last time I met a bugbear, though, he had a head. <laughs> the whole attack. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Grip wouldn't have any idea about. It. I'm not gonna say anything, but it's been, bo it's been bothering me for a while. <sighs> No, I I don't know what I can do to him besides hit him with because everything I, doesn't he need his head and ears and hear me or that would be a Sean me. decision. Make him tell you don't. <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. Did you call it ear meat? Ear meat. Is that what I heard? Because there's definitely some ear somewhere in the pile of mess that used to be his head. The goop laying at his feet. Well, let's let's try to mock him. Let's let's try to speak to his soul and 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 see if I can offend that on a metaphysical level. You're not going to need to see this. I'm going to need to see this chat text. I'm going to need another spell text to see if this does that damn thing. Right. Let's see. You're not verbally assaulting his brain. You're verbally assaulting his heart. Yeah, I'm I'm cutting into his soul. Is is what I'm. Trying. Like an either. Well, I didn't crush that. It's still Did in there you know? somewhere. No, his head. Choose a creature you can see. If it can hear you, it must pass a wisdom saving throw. Oh shit! You visually well, block it. It does not hear you. Damn. Nothing else. Does. Oh well. <laughs> so that's all I got. Couldn't, couldn't, like, the spinal column pick up the vibrations of birds? And... Yes, the spinal <laughs> column picks up the vibrations. <laughs> the Maybe he knows more so than he can understand the... <laughs> and, because, and because of this, he knows exactly where you are. <laughs> he has spinal cord vision. <laughs> Brain stem. What? Way to fucking go, Pikey. <laughs> you gave him power. Yes. Grab your up. What, like we were running away through a door not there. <laughs> um. I don't see anything, so. Grip's gonna ask the Pikey what the hell she's running from. I'm not running. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so you're not running? Is that, is that what you said to Grep or what you said to Clay? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Grep wants to know what I'm running. <laughs> I'm not running. I'm, I'm sitting behind Dabrol, minding my own goddamn business, harping out random insults to the dead bugbear. <laughs> yeah, what are you yelling at, not running? <laughs> Ask Doomy. He got a better look at it than I did, but there's a bugbear standing. <laughs> All right. I am going to... Then move down to see this for myself. Right there. 
And now I see this ugly bastard with no head. He's taking and... uh, that full height minus the head with that big old morning star in his hand. The shambling horror. Uh, I'm going to immediately take aim down my, uh, down my bolt. And yeah. not very well. I was very scared at the time. But I felt better by the time it came, you know, left-handed time. Okay. See, that one definitely hits. You put a, uh, you put a bolt in his shoulder and he kind of staggers, but he's still coming. Yeah, if he doesn't need a head, I don't think he gives a fuck about a shoulder. Next We're gonna have to deal so much. The paladin. The paladin. Well, um, I'm gonna chill right here and ready my action for the uh, the next creature that comes within striking distance. Okay. So I'm you're, making ready. You're holding down the fort. Mm-hmm. You should block the doorway if you're going to do that. Don't wait in the hall. Can you shoot through me if I do that? Yeah. All right, then I'm going to move forward and then do that. Okay. Uh, Scott, you're I up next. Do that from that. I just um, I wasn't sure if that would interfere with my assignment. Depends on how big a dragon man you are. How Maybe wide you are. Do you overeat? Why? I, I eat a healthy amount. Do you I mean, overeat Grips, for a dragonborn? <laughs> what's your inseam? Because Grip's two foot five. Oh my god. What's your inseam? <laughs> what the fuck? That was I mean, that's okay. 29 inches, so that's realistic. He, length. Like, how tall is, uh, is Numeragon? 6'8", 275. Pretty damn big. Yeah, I'm definitely just peeking between his legs. <laughs> okay. And you can definitely still have an impeded line of sight. He's going to prop up his weapon. Make sure he holds his hand steady on your balls. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if he's 6'8", I'm imagining grips like this to get to the balls. <laughs> <laughs> you got to want one. <laughs> All right. What are you going to do, Scott? I don't know if you're talking or you're muted. I forgot I muted for a second. I'm going to cast... What was the spell range on this guy? Alright, I'm going to cast Ray of Frost on Mr. Headless Oh, if you're to knock them, you get two more beers. Why do you do this to me? That's not nice. What does it, what does it have to do? So, it even if it, you know, if it connects, it does damage and slows him. Okay. So if it connects, it damages and slows him. 14. It does not connect. What? It misses. Does he still have his hobgoblin dodging abilities? Yes. His, doesn't, uh, he ha- he doesn't, he have, doesn't he have dis- disadvantage? On dodging? Yes. Or on Scott missing? On, on I mean, shouldn't Scott roll with advantage because this guy can't see anything to evade? Uh, it's more of a Scott fired off and missed than a bugbear evaded. Well, he's still frozen. Is he? He's slowed, right? Not if it doesn't hit. Uh, I think slowed. Scott has frozen. Oh. <laughs> the I spell backfired. The spell backfired and froze him. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> Did the same thing happen to Pikey? Oh, oh wait, no, you're just very still. <laughs> yeah. Very still. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm scared about uh, the room. Things Scott, are not going. We can see you moving now. Nope, you're frozen again. No. <laughs> so, here's my advice. <laughs> Hold on to downloading the porn until after D and D is over. Hey, that's hey. crazy talk. You've got to watch the order. porn when D and D is over. Oh. What you gotta do, I guess. Just... I mean, maybe he's just like paused his camera so he's alt tab looking at the porn while D and D is going. 
There you go. Is, are you back now, Scott? I'm back. You my little, my little Wi-Fi dongle died. Oh. Uh, what I missed? Dongle. Okay, What's so up? you missed with your ray of frost. Yeah. That does not freeze him, right? No, no. It only the the slowdown only happens on on hit. Okay. Right up is the butter bear. Who's gonna get to do something cool before y'all fuck him up? Corpse explosion. Uh, well, let me see what his movement is. We need a Diablo like two necromancer up in here. It's like corpse explosion. One, all the corpses two. in the room. He walks over to this other bugbear, grabs okay. his head, rips it out of the body. Oh. Vital cord and everything, and uh, puts it down his or puts it where his head is. Puts it in his neck hole. Yes. He now has a head. That's badass. One. This thing is far two, enough to repair itself. Three. <laughs> four. That's as far as he gets. He used his action to reattach a head. He's Jeff had a ready to action, head. right? Yeah, he's gonna get whacked. I hope it kills him. That's a twenty-two. That's a good hit. Twelve fucking damage. Got whacked. God damn, man. Right after did the cool thing too. All right, uh, Danielle is Gallag unconscious. Gallagher is new head. Pikey, you're make him look like a bitch. <laughs> good, good news um, is, I can hear you now. I was gonna say, uh, he seems to have uh, upgraded. Acquired like, ears. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I don't know how, but. <laughs> Um, there's some crazy shit going on. There, there's some, some real fucking crazy shit going on right now, and I think that I understand it fully. But... Yeah, there, there was a greater evil here than we had initially anticipated. Way sure. greater. Like things evil. keep, re, you know, re-raising. Right, over and over and over. You know, crazy. I love you, Dad. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I want to, uh... Hug him. They don't hug No. No one, no one ever wants to hug him. You just, you gotta let that dream die in your... No, never. You know that it was never okay. It was always be. meant to be. He might well, like that. He's clearly he said... looking for companionship or friendship or something. He lost... Brains. His, he lost all of his family in this room when y'all murdered them. Oh, good. <laughs> Um, That's a lovely sentiment. Oh, <laughs> He's well, looking for love. In all the I mean, places. maybe his family left him for a reason. They left him because you killed all of them. Yeah, because they couldn't stand to be around him. Just... Are you verbally <laughs> mocking him right now? Is this your ver vicious? Can we just go ahead? Yeah, go ahead and roll vicious mockery. I feel like he's going yeah. to <laughs> Like you just did it. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to do something else, but I'm kind of good with it. <laughs> and he can hear you now, too, so. Oh, which is good. Let's let's hope that works out better then. All right. I don't know what his uh, wisdom what is. is but, but he's using gremlin see stats. How he, is. So. he rolled a five. <laughs> mm. That's not going to work. Mm. About that. <laughs> Have you ever seen a zombie cry? <laughs> Am I about to? <laughs> yeah, because it's odd to see his I... flesh all gray and mottled and slowly losing more and more life and also tears. As we're slowly yes. watching the head that he's just died, yeah. tears come Which out is someone actually else's. very strange that the head that he just attached is crying. Mm -hmm. That's. There's some magical shit going down. Impressive. Right. I just told him his family died so they'd be... <laughs> um, I'm going to shoot at him. Okay. Shoot away. That's a miss. Fuck. Do you have an offhand? That's a hit. I had to catch my breath and steady myself <laughs> so I didn't miss it. <laughs> Not as an impressive a hit. No. Oh, and he is disadvantaged now. Yes. For an attack roll. Attack, you will roll with disadvantage. Oh. You just right. didn't put a marking on. Ah, uh, yes. 
Are these the, people, the last one left? Let's see. See? A sad face. He's weeping. No, it's not. No way, it's just her. No way. Yeah. I'm going to hammer down. Yep. What else would I do? I don't know. Give him a hug? What? A hug him. Why? Because it was a crit. Oh. Holy shit, you crit him? Yeah, 27. Is it is it 27 or 20? It's 20. 20 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2. Well, that kills him. <laughs> and uh, he has to roll a 25 on his constitution check real quick. Which he could do. Could he? He could. I mean, if you try hard and believe yourself. He rolls... He uh, he rolled a 21 with a crit. Yeah, almost. A 21 with a crit. <laughs> crit on crit. So, yeah, he goes down. He falls to his knees and then collapses. You've killed the final... Well, I'm I don't want to say to... final. You killed another undead bugbear. I'm going to continue smashing repeatedly until there's nothing but boots <laughs> on the floor. Okay. I'm the structure scared. of the zombie is so severely compromised, if he were to get back up, it would just be, like, quivering on the floor. I, uh, his token has been removed to signify or symbolize that his matter is all over the walls mm. and everywhere Bush. else. Now, my question is, do you want to put some of it in your bag? Yes. <laughs> Shut the fuck up with that! I will scoop some goop. Into oh, the bag. unrelated. There is also some oak or gravel in the doorway. Did you want to get that too? Oh, come on, man. Come on. At I least got, one I got the stuff in the. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, how big is this bag? At a certain so, point, it's... So, some abomination is going to is going to coalesce inside the bag and emerge from the bag and just murder the entire party. What's it's odd is be... he keeps putting things in the bag. It does not grow in size, and it never seems to be full. Okay. I got some of each. Uh, the room has been cleared. What do y'all want to do? How many zombies have only fallen once? All the zombies have only fallen once. Two of the bugbears have fallen once, and two are of the bugbears are, one is splattered all, okay, so there's one bugbear splattered over the floor where you destroyed it just now. There's two that were turned to ash by holy attacks, Ooh. and then there's, okay. how many bugbears are there in the room? I think there's five, so there's two more bugbear bodies. The one on the top and the one on the bottom on the beds? Sure. Like one on the bed, yeah. All right, so uh, I'm gonna smash the arms and limbs of both of those. <laughs> Are you leaving the torso? Yeah, why not? The heads, the head, arms, and limbs. I'm not gonna put too much effort into it. I don't wanna like just that first one was just like a berserker rage kind of thing, but these ones I'm just going to methodically just smash them at the uh, you know torso joints so that there's not really any way that they can be a threat. Okay. So we currently have uh, two zombie, or sorry, no, uh, two bug bear torsos smashed at the joints. And head. The heads are smashed as well. Gallagher style. I don't know how to spell torsos. That's close but enough. It's not spelled torsos. Torsos. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Okay. What else would you right. like to do? Anybody else? Have any? I mean, I, oh, I want to smash everything in this room, but I was gonna say, are we just whack them all? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna cast a fireball on every downed body in this room. An excellent idea. I mean, we've established that everything has the ability to rise. So I feel like we should be burning and smashing everything once we kill it. Would you like to create just like a funeral pyre? 
Yeah, let's Ooh. drag them all of the center of the room and burn them. Yeah, can we burn the shit to the ground? Burn it. Why Throw all the say it? Because it'll be so much easier for me logistically to put them all in the middle of the room. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so all the uh, all the remaining corpses in the room are piled up, and how are you lighting them on fire? With my fireball. Okay, so you're just like <laughs> scorching them over and over again, just over and over, over, just as just just laying it on thick. It's just like a <laughs> like a multi-attack energy blast thing. That... Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, uh, as you do that, smoke fills the room. And it's getting difficult to breathe. All right. Well, I'm everybody clear out of the room. I will stand in the doorway and continue to do it because they're within range. <laughs> okay. Like okay. uh, it. As you continue to do it, smoke continues to fill the room, and it's starting to uh, follow you out the door and possibly out the door on the other side. Ice blast. What is that going to do to smoke? The force of it will carry the smoke the other direction. Is that how physics work? <laughs> yeah, if you fire a blast of like ice in one direction, it's going to create a draft. <laughs> okay, so you've got smoke before I get out of this room. What do you want to do? Let me ask you a question, Sean. Sure. Is there an exit somewhere on the other side of this cave? On the other side of this cave? Yeah. There might be. So is there a draft carrying the wind from one side to the other? There might be, but you don't see it or notice it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. If anywhere were drafty, it's not this room. Okay. So, what's up? What do you want to do? Who's carrying smoking? <laughs> Not this guy. I'll drive him. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, not, not the two tiny, tiny people. <laughs> we are moving away from ever uh, Yeah, are we going to, uh... Are we gonna go... North up these stairs, or we want to go back the way we came from, boy. <laughs> I don't know. We uh, that was a pretty long, drawn out uh, battle there. Maybe we ought to like rest somewhere. Yeah, I would really like a long rest. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty good. And, and reconsider our options now that we've uh, you know cleared a portion of the cave. Yeah, I figured. Uh... We were going to follow Smoking's suggestion last time. She was us, chiseling us out of the room. Probably go up the staircase. See, yeah. see what's up. All right, then. Here we go. So I think the exit is north. That's probably the right way to go. Uh, I see a thing. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't follow the directions of the DM. <laughs> well, I mean, we were going north before you said right? that, so. <laughs> it's not like we had very many. Yeah, what, what thing do I see? Uh, we didn't go barreling down the corridor either. We <laughs> Let me see. Let me figure out how to see what you see. Uh, it's on this square. It's a gray face. A gray man. Let me see what that is. It's the tall man from Phantasm. Oh. <laughs> he made That's his way in. That would explain everything. That's why they keep coming back to life. Mm -hmm. We just haven't hit the silver orbs yet, but they're coming. But they're coming. That's uh, you peek around the corner because you're totally stealthy, and I'm, uh, I'm going to let you be stealthy for a second. And you see a drow 
A drow. A drow. A fucking drow. <sighs> and I'm being stealthy. Yeah, until you do anything else. Um. When you start doing stuff, you're gonna start rolling. Yep. So I'm gonna motion for everyone to stop and go back. Yes. An excellent suggestion. I'll go to the base of the stairs. Nope. No. I'm fucking with no drow. Alright, so like right here. Um. And. I'm going to say that there's a, uh. A, a black elf up there. And I don't know what it is. Kobolds but how do, black do is he? know what a drow is? Mm-hmm. Grep doesn't. I guess it depends. Depends on where you were uh, a kobold. Yeah, so I have no idea what's up there, but it, it looks like an elf, and it's black. What, what do you guys think we should do? Since the war chief's not here. Freaking elf, and it's. I'm just curious why you left the war chief behind. I didn't. I was dragging her. I just I'm didn't uh, bring her along. <laughs> yeah. I was about to move her, but I moved one step too far, and I saw out there. He's and just got a fistful of her hair, and he's just <laughs> <laughs> up the stairs. Here we go. Cause into's a dump stat. Let's just do this. <laughs> oh god. Is there any way we can rest in this hallway? Or is this thing seen us and shit's up? I don't think it saw me. Bad idea. Can I can I roll um well I don't know. Our wizard should roll, right? What, what do you know about the drow wizard? I'm gonna ask him. Because I don't know I don't know a lot about the drow. I've heard tales, but I know very little. So should I roll a history check then? Uh, what would your what would your character know about the drow? What do you think it would know? I mean, he's I mean, I could make an, I could make an educated guess, but I was I was found passed out in a forest, and I went and learned at the academy, so I might know something. I know you might know something, but you don't know what it is. I'm gonna like, say. So, do you personally know anything about drop? Are you asking me? Yes, I'm asking you. Very, actually, very little. I know a lot about the drow, actually, but my but character your paladin does doesn't know shit. No, he does not know. I think that your memory, Scott, or your knowledge of the drow, is probably on par with your wizard's knowledge of the drow. Okay, so they are a very um. Warlike race, battling for you know politics and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm talking about, Jeff. Oh yeah, they're uh, they're they're innately evil, devious, yes. black-hearted creatures that will do anything for personal gain. Wow, your yep. paladin learned a lot. No, yeah. no, that's 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 that right there is basically all I know. Okay, well, I think that's a fair assessment of what your wizard would know if he went to a school. To learn magic. I don't know any of the houses of the drow, because there are several. I just know that they are very greedy, essentially. They'll, they'll, they'll fight each other. They'll wipe each other out just to put them in, to put their house in better standing. They're also one, some of the, the most deadly uh, inhabitants of the Underdark. They're very dangerous. So that's that's what your wizard knows. Yep. What would you like to do with that information? Not fuck with them. <laughs> Run away. Definitely, Go definitely him. need Go to. Go hug him. Yes. As no. I said, there is de- there is definitely a greater no. uh, presence of evil in this cave than we had initially thought. Should probably be better prepared before we go any further. That's my dragon horn assessment. All right. Well, 
we cleared out a fair bit of the cave to the west. If we're going to try to rest, we should definitely do it there because at least we kind of have an idea that there's not much and lurking. Back where the water was. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Let us adjourn. I guess I could try to, like, I don't know. I guess I could try to do my sense evil thing. I don't really use that very much. Hey, Scott, are you, um, or sorry, Sean, are you, um, centered on, can you see my pings? Yes, I can see your pings. What is that? Is that like a stalagmite or like a small island? It is like a small spike of rock sticking out of the water. Alright, but no uh, no footing on it. No footing. Maybe you can hang a ha hammock between it and a stalagmite and fall in when it doesn't work. Worth a shot. But Jeff, mm -hmm. if you want to sense evil, do you have any spell slots for that? Well, I can use it four times a day. Huh? The oh. presence of strong evil... Evil registers on your senses like a noxious odor, and powerful good rings like a heaven of music. Wow. I mean, if you want to use it, use it. Just so I can kind of get a sense of how strong the evil is that's ahead of us. Okay. You want to, what? Do you want to go up there, peek around the corner, and or just like crawl? What, how do you, what do you want to do? Tell me exactly yes. what you want to do. I'm just going to like so inch up to, I'm going to inch up so I'm not visible. Okay. And I'm, and I'm going to like, Put my head up against the wall. Focus. And expand okay. my mind. Can you uh, can you post what this spell does in chat for me? Sure. I think maybe. I guess I can mm. hide turn order now. Maybe not. Just I can figure out how. Cause I'm dumb. Hmm. I'm dumb. I thought I had that in there. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. The presence of a strong evil registers on your senses like a noxious odor. Powerful good rings like heavenly music. As in action, you open your awareness. In your next turn, you know the location of a celestial fiend undead within 60 feet. I know the type. Well, that would be a good thing to know, because uh, drow are notorious for summoning fiends. So, it's like a 60-foot diameter. Just mm, not let, me, let me zoom out on the map a little bit. Oh, no, roll 20. Okay, there we go. Are there any greater undead, or...? Demons or anything up in that range? You sense strong evil until you know the location of celestial fiend or undead, but not. So it's not a. Uh, it's not an alignment thing. You just sense these three things. Okay. Is that how, is that six? Is that how it works? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you don't sense any undead. Oh, sorry. Let me rephrase. You don't sense any celestial or fiend or undead, but you do sense great evil in that direction, diagonal the other direction, and on your person. On and it's my radiating person. on your person oh. very strongly. Oh, wow. Well. In that? fact, you look at your hand, there's something wrong with your hammer. My hammer? Did you put it in the bag? I didn't put it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it only actually, you don't sense any evil from your bag. No. Oh. But the hammer, though. Oh, yes. That's true. Well, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Scott's Does video. Does still work? Is it gonna? Is it? Is it my hand or the hammer? It's the hammer. Is it spreading to my hand? All right, I'm. I'm. I'm looking at my hammer. Do I have okay. a warhammer in here? Right. Do you have a warhammer? I have a Thor's hammer somewhere. 
All right, so I'm looking at the uh -huh. hammer. Okay. And what do I see when I look at the hammer? Does it look changed in any way? No. It looks exactly as it did when you picked it up. But there is an evil in it. Hmm. But there is also a good. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. We lost him. Uh, okay. Well, that explains why I haven't seen his camera. For I just saw him in the chair. Actually, I'll be right back in just a moment. Since we've now established that there's evil to the northwest and northeast in that quarter, probably want to save that for a little bit better preparation. Preparation age. We do want to go fuck with the zombies. Let's charge right in. Right? Well, we haven't had too much trouble. Oh, yeah, we didn't have any trouble with that, that zombie room. You didn't peek around the corner, right? No. no you just I looked just... in the direction of the wall. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Just a general sense. Like, I don't know details or specifics. But I'll be right back. <sighs> All right, then. So we don't know anything that he just learned. He doesn't tell us. Nope, you sure don't. Nope. <laughs> La -da, da 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 Do we even know, like, what he went up there to do? Did he say anything? I think he just wandered off. Yeah. Uh, do After we... Do y'all want to take five real quick to get a drink, take a piss? Yeah. Yeah. We're down a couple people. Oh. Back one. Can you hear us? Yeah. I can. We're, mm. we're taking a five-minute break. Okay. So... Back at 32 after, I guess. Yep, sure. My uh, dongle died again, so. Alright, do you have. What are you is. like extension cord off of your computer? Yeah, I do. Yeah, ever since you suggested that, I've done that, and it's basically always worked. It's just for some reason tonight, it's just not acting nice. I think it's a heating thing? Yeah, well, the uh, it usually does, for, for whatever, it always sits in the same spot. Mm -hmm. And uh, for whatever reason, it's getting real hot tonight. So, okay. like, I make a I make a point of mine to not sit it on top of the computer and to sit it on top of the desk. Away yeah, from the it's table. it's yeah. So I have it. I have it extended. You know, a USB extender, so it's not plugged directly into the port. And I have it right. snaked up to my desk, and then I have it kind of tied off on one of the bars on my desk, so it's just kind of free hang free hanging kind mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't. Uh, okay. Ooh. We should build a heat sink for it. Right? I think it needs one. Okay. I am going to be right back. Uh, okay. Fine. Probably just so. Everyone has vacated. It's just you and me. Yeah. It's funny because I know all about the drama. <laughs> and I know very little. My immediate response was oh shit, we don't want to fuck with that. Right. Like even uh, even lower level gal wreck you with their with their poison uh, hand crossbows. Yeah. Sleep. Let's see. They can do fairy fire. They can do uh, globe of darkness. Levitate. All as innate spells that they can cast several times a day. You de you definitely don't want to mess with the drow. Mm -hmm. Especially on a dark space. Hey Jeff. They have night vision. What? Uh, the partner Clay wanted to know if your character said anything before he wandered off and did this to the party, and if you relayed this information to the party. Yes. Yes, I did. I said I. I what, hold on a moment. Let me see if I can sense anything 
Yeah. With the power of my god. You should tell him that. You don't have to tell me. Clay, I said, I said, hold, valiant friends. Let me call upon my divine sense to see what lies ahead. It doesn't look like he has his headset on. I can hear you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pikey's got it on speakers, so. Yeah, he can hear them. Oh, good, okay. Oh, fuck, ow. Don't eat rocks, man. So I went to the dentist earlier today, and my, uh, at like nine this morning, my teeth are still fucking bleeding, and my dumbass just went and opened up some fucking fruity snacks, like gummy snacks, mm. and like the first bite, I'm like, ah. Fucking dentist, man. I hate them. They're the worst. That's why I don't go to them. <laughs> my cousin Paul works at my... My aunt, my aunt Cheryl's a doctor, and uh, she's crazy as shit. So she got into some weird financial trouble. So now my cousin, her son, is running the office. And he's like, yeah, you need to get some insurance, man. You never know when you're going to need it. I'm like, you know what? I will live or die based on my own body's strengths or weaknesses. He's like, what's you fucking crazy? Because <laughs> he almost like died not that long ago. From some like freak thing. And I'm just like, yeah, if I if I run into that, it's game over, man. It's game over. And dentists are the same way. The teeth brought out, then God wanted them to rot out. I am a big <laughs> proponent of the only thing that matters is your health, and you should spend all of your money to make sure that you are healthy. What about strippers and blow? You should spend the rest of your money on that. <laughs> I think you've got it backwards. Spend all of your money on strippers and blow. And if there's any left over, then you get the uh, the penicillin shot to cure yourself of whatever the stripper gave you. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> That's where the industrial size jug of uh, antibiotic cream comes into play. Apply liberally to all rashes. All right. So, what's the plan, guys? I really want to rest, <laughs> rest so that we can actually do something, not just swing our hands at the uh, great evil ahead. All right. Um, where are we going to rest? That is a very good question. Quick, slip into the water. So anyone have a uh, inflatable raft? Let me take through my inventory. I'm going to rest over here. I'm assuming that, Jeff, you are still dragging Smokeen by yourself. <laughs> yes. Well, we can't, we can't, we can can't I, do anything can with I her token, her? so... Yeah, I can't even move her. I tried, like, at the beginning, and I just assumed you were going to, like, manage that. <laughs> Okay, I'm desperately pawing at Smokeen, but she seems to be stuck to the floor. Very stuck. What drow magic is this? To be fair, Firefox is crashing like crazy for me right now. The Black Devil. Come on, I'm gonna click on <laughs> I'm gonna shake my evil warhammer at the heavens. Damn you! <laughs> Damn you! Okay, I have to kill Firefox and bring it back open. One of days. Okay. We also know that it's not undead, great evil head, which is which means that the undead are probably isolated to the south portion. Yeah. I'm going to tell the party next time that we're over in that section of the cave, remind me to use Sense Evil, Divine Sense again. So we can kind of map out what's ahead and we don't just run blind into a fucking Lich's Den or some shit. I think Lich's Den would be the best thing to run into. I think we would not have a 
snowballs, chance in hell of beating a witch. Well, you know, with witches, they only want hugs. <laughs> this is fact. So did Numi ever tell us about the evil he sent to the hammer? Not yet. We were still, um, I was okay. still walking down the hallway with Smokey and Dragon. <laughs> you did just kind of peace out. You just yeah. drug her off. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> I just and we all just sat by and let it happen. <laughs> we figured you needed some alone time. I don't know. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> he was dragging her by her hair. <laughs> I, I don't know what Dragonborn custom is for moving people around. Maybe he thinks the hair is like scales. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a sign of respect. <laughs> Grab him by the horns. Uh -huh. I mean, there's other places you could have grabbed that'd be worse. Uh -huh. Especially if you're dragging her by the hair. Alright, let's keep it moving. Come on now. Like armpits, dude. Mm -mm. So there are... We know there's a number of zombies waiting down that, that eastern hallway. Okay, when I, when I get back to uh, the rest of the group from the hallway... After I announced I was going to do exactly what I was going to do, I'm going to walk up and say, I sense a great evil to the northwest and northeast down each end of that corridor. Probably uh, probably would be dangerous to advance in our current All right. Are you going to tell about the hammer? Um, no, I'm going to keep that myself. Okay. Yeah, I figured that was intentional. <laughs> um, yep. So we need to rest. Yeah. Where would we rest? Um, I mean, not this room things. seems not that safe. Yeah, who knows what's down in that uh, water. The, the, uh, the water uh, room we're in? Yeah. Yeah, knowing what will happen, something will pop up out to get us. Yeah, we didn't really map that thoroughly. Uh, we just kind of used the magic hand to grab the stuff at the bottom for all the we know there's a portion of it that can have all sorts of uh, unholy abominations waiting for us. Actually, yeah. hey, that's not a bad idea. Can I use Divine Sense on the lake to see if there's anything there? You absolutely can. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to stand at the edge of the water and hold my hands up and shout some Latin. And okay, so you raise your hands up and say, oh, Jesus. Jesus, and help me! You, uh, you sense no evil in the water. Okay. But that doesn't mean anything, right? It could be neutral. Could be, um, you know, just a just a fucking well, so lake abomination or fiends in the water or oh, that's good. So I could be in the water and he wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Or, or like, are a, you a fiend? Sort of. <laughs> she's like, yeah, she is. Technically, she's I'm, like every time I do this. She's as a fiend. <laughs> Obviously, not an undead, I think, and no. not, definitely not a god. Although maybe Gundren thinks differently. There are many men who think she is a god, but. Mm -hmm. So okay. Well, we know that there's nothing in the lake that is inherently evil, undead, fiendish, or celestial. Uh, that doesn't mean that there couldn't be a giant ass shark crocodile waiting in there. Did you <laughs> throw a lighty, a light rock down there or something? We, we did. Could, didn't see we, anything. Well, I could cast light on a rock, and we could. I could cast light infinitely on a number of rocks and illuminate the entire bottom of this area. Light that shit. What's that? Light that shit up. Yeah. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start picking up rocks and casting my light cantrip on them and just throwing them into the water. Okay. Well, uh, you do that. As the pebbles, rocks, gravel all fall down to the bottom of the water, the uh, the un the skeleton that Pikey lifted up before you see that, but. Other than that, you see like a school of fish swimming to the far left, and you see water rushing from the far right or from the far 
northeastern part of it. It appears that we see like water from somewhere. Okay, so the water's coming in. Can we go over there and examine it to see if it's kind of like an underwater, like it's feeding in from an, from the underside, or if it's it kind of like uh that you'd have to be in the water to do that. Okay. So, so Nessie did not emerge from the depths to Nessie did not emerge from the depths. No great whites. <laughs> um. I need to Do figure we... out how to play music during this game. Put the Jaws <laughs> theme on. Donna. Well, do we feel like we want to rest here, or do we want to back out? You should investigate the water hole instead of resting. Is that what we should do? I think so. Mm -mm. Boy, I feel like we ought to investigate that water hole, guys. Did your god just send you that message? Yeah, I, I had a tingling in my loins that said we should investigate the water hole. Oh, he's got dragon loins. My loins are tingling. I have no response to that. <laughs> did uh, did Tila give you a lap dance? Is that why you're tingling? <laughs> Tila didn't give anybody a lap dance, especially after watching how he's dragging 16 or Motherfucker's not touching me. <laughs> <laughs> you see what they can do. Well, well, well Davros said cold. Wings started tingling, so I could investigate. <laughs> I can hear the jaws. Alright, do something, guys. What do you want to do? I'm going to investigate the hole. Fight jaws. Where's the I'm hole? Jaws. I would feel more comfortable backing out of the Taking a rest. I didn't hear half of that because you broke up. Either she said that. she would want to go out of the cave. Mm -hmm. Wait, do we want to head out of the dungeon? Do we want to head? Uh, so is south the entrance? That's how we came in through the water. Okay. Can we investigate the hole first? <laughs> I was waiting to see. Oh my god. I don't want to find Nessie or John. <laughs> if there is a hole and you don't investigate it now, it might cave in while you're going. You could. I'm going to investigate it. Where is it? Can you can you uh, do the ring? Like, we're looking at the shore. Where is the hole? You would have to get in the water and swim over there. Okay, I'm gonna now, swim. my question is, if you are getting in the water, are you taking off your armor? Crap, maybe you should swim over there and investigate. <laughs> I could la launch you over there with a rope and pull you back if something happens. I don't know. <laughs> what do you I think, don't hear Grep responding. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> any any no, no. characters on the on the live bait? <laughs> Daryl, would you like to be the live bait? It doesn't appear that anyone wants to do this. Fine. Yeah. No takers. Let's go out and rest. Slosh around. Yeah. Tired of shit. Tired of shit. Should we head south? Let's get the fuck out of here. Leave the cave, get some rest. I am dragging um, Smokey on my shoulders. She, I'm fireman carrying her. Okay, so you're not dragging oh. her by the scalp. No, I'm not I'm not ripping her hair out as I drag her. I always do that. Have we gone? Fuck. I'm we sorry. Lost? I was driving are you. Are we getting lost right now? Yes, you are, because I just didn't see anything. Does anyone know how to get out of this cave? I actually do not remember. So, you can't see... There it is. It, it just zooms all the way out. Oh. Uh, it's just heading straight. Oh, God. Jeff. To your bot. Oh, never mind, you're going. You were there. Where was I when I saw whatever you're about to show us? 
you where Smokeen is. We can't see her token. I didn't go that far down, though. Yeah, I was like, I was like up here. This is far as I got. Do I need to pick you up and drag you through the doorway? There's a doorway right where Smokeen was. Oh, that's the exit? Yes. Your character would know this. Although, I well, don't... I only... I only see two of you. I don't know where the others got to. I am a dumb dragonborn. Which two do you see? Yeah. I don't see Davril, and I don't... Where did you go, Scott? Davril, where are you? Go south. He's lo he is lost in the cave. I'm, I'm going to catch you up, Scott. Sure, go for it. Scott, you, you managed to go through a wall. I, <laughs> I didn't do that. Brace yourself. <laughs> Phase door. Yeah. Dimension door. You are all smart enough to know that that was a door. For the oh, phase. man. This, this feels much safer than out there. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go outside? Well, I don't know. Or do you want to stay inside? As you uh, wander into this room, you look down, and you see that dwarven body that you saw the first time you came in. It's still there. Yep. That was, uh, what's his name? Brother. Gundren Rockseeker's brother. Gundren brother. Yeah. Did I cut his beard off when we went by? I don't think so. Do you want to? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not going to put it in the bag. I just want to have it in case we come. Yeah. What? Gundrum. Put it in the bag. I just want to have it. <laughs> in case we find Gundrum, we can say, "Hey, I found your brother." Here we go. How are you going to cut it off? Here's his beard. Yeah. With How my are you with this cut it off? dagger. Do you have a dagger? Yeah, I have a dagger and I have a spear. He found your have... brother, and we cut his pride off. What? Yeah. <laughs> great, great swords. You sure you don't want to like decapitate him and put his head on a pike? Yeah, I'd rather not hang the head. I think I think the beard would be a little more sentimental and a little bit less gruesome. Dwarves are very particular about their beards. Okay. Yeah, and you're gonna take his off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take it off and say we found your brother. I feel like that might offend him. It seems like we're scalping. <laughs> Grep wonders if maybe there's the signet ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, did we get the signet ring? Maybe a belt buckle family. Okay, are yeah. there any other any other uniquely identifying um, he items? He's wearing mining gear, and I think he already looted his body for something before. Yep, we got the ring of jumping and the, ring and the potion from him. Wouldn't that be enough to kind of identify? I think the potion of vitality is probably a family heirloom passed down through the generations. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Okay, fair enough. Just kidding. All right, let's rest. Is this where right. you want to rest, or you want to rest outside the cave? What do you guys think? This is fine. I think this sure? is pretty safe. I don't think those drow are going to be going outside anytime soon. Well, this is the only entrance y'all knew of. Mm -hmm. Right, but the drow don't leave. Like, yeah, don't, Grep prefers the cave. Yeah, the cave is there for Grep to rest in. We can just have someone keep watch while the rest of the party rests. Grep nominates the elf. Smoking can definitely be the watch. Yeah, she can definitely. <laughs> She's just slumped over against this leg. You're going to stand lives. her up against some rocks. Have her Does a, her bow like out. a scarecrow. Does Daveril know Kaiden's magical watchdog? Is that a thing? Fuck. Now there's goblins. Ogres. What? Now there's ogres. Where? What did you do? What'd you fucking do? <laughs> no ogres? I didn't do anything. Clay oh no, I'm talking to Clay. Is it Shrek? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where you want to rest, and are y'all all just going to go cuddle up in a corner and pass, and pass out, or what? Yeah. 
And create a body that's, pile. That's Grep's favorite thing, is in a corner <laughs> passed out. I feel like Grep would, like, cuddle with people for warmth. Is that a thing that dragon oh, people it's, do? It's a real spell. Okay. Well, Jordan, don't... Are you setting a watch? Or are you... Is somebody going to watch y'all sleep? Or... I was going to say, are we going to take shifts? Or would that count as... No, uh, you can keep watch explicitly um, while on a uh, rest. So we just each take two hours of watch and sleep for six. Everyone gets a long rest at the end. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And yeah. So is there going to be any overlap with the watches? Or are there, is there going to be anything... <laughs> <laughs> special you want to do. Wake the person up, tell them it's their turn. <laughs> this is going to be great. I can't wait to start rolling dice for this. Yeah. <laughs> so, who's going first watch? I'll do first watch. Alright. Okay. okay, so in dungeons, how I handle dungeons and random encounters in dungeons is uh, there's two... There is a random encounter for each short rest, and there is two random encounters for a long rest. One for the first half, and one for the second half. You roll okay. a d12. An 11 or a 12 is an encounter. So we do that twice? Yes. Do it. So, whoever is taking the first watch, roll. Roll 1d12? 1d12. Roll good, bro. <laughs> Please do. I'm not prepared for a random encounter yet. Eleven. <laughs> that doesn't mean that it's going to be some party wiping encounter. Doesn't it? It doesn't it? Yeah. And I'm just going to open it up. Oh, look. A dragon. I got a chart. It's right here. Two spectral dragons. <laughs> no, it says you are a war band of drow. Okay, let's see what we got again. That's a rule. <laughs> so now I roll. What do I roll? Is it? I don't even roll very often. A pack of mind players. Of course, the one time I roll, I roll high. Yep. Okay. Time to crush it. I would assume since we have, worry. since we've set a watch, we're not going to be surprised by these things. That's a long roll. A one and a four. One and a two. So is it safe to assume that your characters are in the way they would be when the uh, thing happens? Yeah, Mine is. I guess Smokey is probably propped up against a rock like a scarecrow. Yeah, I, like my general layout, I was going to be out in front, like if something came up. And where would Smokey yeah. have been propped? Behind me. Right there. And Dabrol is sitting up on the ledge, watching over Yes, everybody. correct. Okay. Uh, Dabrol, while you are on watch, you hear something coming from the opposite doorway. On the ledge that I'm on? From over here. Okay. And, uh, you see... A trio of ghouls not fucking ghouls. <laughs> I can show you all these, right? Um you see bam. Did that did that do anything? 
Yeah. A ghoul roamed the night in packs, driven by an insatiable hunger. Yeah, you see three of those come out. Okay. And they can paralyze you. Cool. Don't help too much, Jeff. Come on. <laughs> what? Stop your metagame and nonsense. Oh. If I know that, like, I have to look it up, does that count as bad? If, uh, if uh, you were able I'm to tell Dabble really while you were sleeping and he was watching, then it'd be funny. <laughs> I tell Alright, so does that mean I can get, like, first strike on him or whatever? Uh, no. That means they roll initiative. Or I guess that means we all roll initiative. Actually, you're the only one that sees it. And yeah. we can... Let me let me get their stat block. Sure. So, I, I, don't, I think this is the first time we've done a random encounter in a dungeon. I think so, exactly. actually. So, we're, so, this is a learning experience for all of us. So, how I'm going to play it out is... I'm going to roll a uh, perception check on them against your stealth. Against my stealth? And then you're going to roll a perception against their stealth. And we're going to see if anyone has surprise on the other. Sure. Okay. So here is their uh, perception against your stealth roll, which is wisdom. It's a it's a wisdom roll, right? Perception. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Perception's a wisdom roll, but he also gets to add it. Okay, well... Uh, they get a five oh, on their wisdom roll. If you could uh, roll a stealth check for me, sure. Nice. Mm -mm. Right. Okay. Uh, now let's see if you know, or if they. So they didn't notice you. Now let's see if you notice them. So now okay. you roll perception, you roll a wisdom roll or a perception roll, and I roll a stealth, which is, I believe, dexterity? Stealth. Yes. Stealth is dexterity, yeah. Thank I you. really want somebody to kill right, me. You want, what do you want me to roll? I want you to roll a perception roll. Nine. Okay, they rolled a five. You have, you have a surprise roll on them. And okay. Gonna, now knowing this, I'm gonna go find out what the actual rules are later. Okay. Well, if that's the case, if I see them, I'm going to sneak up. Okay, you're at half health, and you're gonna sneak up with no spell slots. No, I like no, it. I have, I have spell slots. <laughs> He's very stingy with his spells. You have to remember this. And I'm you going to cast. And I'm gonna cast. I don't want to wake the party. Yeah, you want, to wake, you want to make sure they sleep through this whole thing. Wake us the fuck up. I'm going to yell at the top of my lungs as I cast Burning Hands. Mm -hmm. Ghouls! <laughs> and I cast Burning Hands. Is Burning Hands a touch attack? No, it's a cone attack, and they are within range. This is like a tri-beam? Yeah, like you hold your hands out like this. I thought it was like this. <laughs> Look at the image in the player's handbook. It's this. I don't have a player's handbook. <laughs> I've got a wiggy. All right, I rolled a, I rolled a, I rolled a sixteen. Okay. Is this a, or is this a conal attack? Yeah, it's a, if if it hits, it hits all of them. In a yeah. Code. So they were. It's a DC thirteen dexterity save. For half damage. It's not an attack. Save? Yeah, and they're rolling individually. None of this uh, all for one roll. That's right, no all for ones. All right. Unless the first one fails, and then it's all for one. <laughs> <laughs> so their spell save is a 13. The first one's a 7. Okay, he takes full damage. The, the next one's an 18. Okay, he takes half. And the next one's a 19. Okay, so the first one takes full damage, and the other two take half. So let's roll for the first one. 
So he takes 16 damage. Holy shit. <laughs> the next one, um, does, I guess, which one? So which one? Which which one was which? I don't know what the order. <laughs> Sorry, the uh, the bottom one was the first one. And the okay, back so two he took. Okay, okay, so he. Not. All right, so the so the so the bottom one is the first. So he took a full sixteen. Mm-hmm. Back left is going to take six, and the back right is going to take five. That was still a lot of damage. That's legit. All right, uh, burning hands yelled. Let's uh, roll initiative. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, y'all. I'm just. <laughs> I think it's safe to assume that y'all heard that, and I'm going to let y'all hear that. So go ahead and everyone roll initiative. Oh, wait. Click on your token when you roll initiative. Fuck, sorry. Yeah, click your token. Sean did that work for five and six. Yes, it did. 18, all right. What, what? Jeff, you got a six. No, you I got, got a nine. nine. And then sorry about that. D got a zero. She did. Actually, it's dead to the world. We got a five or six. Yes, so Mikey and a clay. And the ghoul. And it's well, I already did yours though. Oh. Okay. Hmm. So I've I'm got. Uh, there's not a bug beer here, is there? It's right on the main character. I just, I always have it open. Maybe stuff. they're chewing on the bug bears. Mm-hmm. I always have it open. Ghouls eat bones, right? Ghouls eat lots of things. They eat anything that is dead. Like your bag. Go feed them your bag. Maybe they're hungry. Maybe that's what <laughs> drew them in. You do have undead hands in there. I do. I have a bunch of shit in there. Let's see. Okay. What is so, Davril, you're up first. Guess what we're gonna do? Another burning hands. All right, burning hands it up. Dude, clear this shit. <laughs> you should have. Hang on. What was that? I think that your uh, spell D. What's your int modifier? It's plus three. Oh, okay, so you've only got sixteen or seventeen int. Uh, my six. My, my int is sixteen, so it's plus three. I okay. didn't increase my int at all. Cool. cool. That, that explains it then. Never mind. Burning hands. Burning hands. All right. They need to pass the spell check of thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Well, here's our first dexterity saving throw, which is a big five. All right. Yeah. So bottom one is this the bottom one? Yep. Uh, the second so he'll one take full. T- roll the crit. Twenty-two. Oh. Okay. So he'll take half. Uh, and the last one rolled a six. All right, so top right will take full damage. So we'll roll for the first one. And that's all your spell slots, right? No. I know you used. I used all my second level. Have? I have I have a lot from my. I have two more for my first level. Oh, that's right. You have okay. Yeah. Yeah, full cool. casters get a lot. Well, I mean, so, no, so number one, the bottom one, the bottom one takes six damage. The bottom one takes six damage. Yes. So awesome. the, the, is the so top left against the wall? Oh, yep. You blast against the wall, <laughs> and it's it's donezo. It's dead. All right. Top left, I believe, takes half damage. Yep. He'll take seven damage. Okay. And then top right takes seven damage. All right. And then, and then with that, I'm going to take. Five step, you know, I'm going to take a tile back in movement. Nice. Okay. My turn. My turn. Ghouls are up next. Wizard pulling his weight. I'm still. Okay, so we'll cut off. He oh. yelled at us. One, two, three, four, five, six. If they move into my range, does that mean I get an attack of opportunity? They have to move out of your range. Oh, okay. They move out of your melee range. Gotcha. They have to pass through your range. Like if they're moving past. You, oh, you get... I see. Okay. I play range so much that I forget all this. 
Uh, let's see. He is going to... Uh, I'm learning what they do real quick. Yeah, yeah. This is lots of fun. Okay. He's going to whip up his claws, all Wolverine style, and rake at yeah. you with them. He's got the three claws. He's a... They only have three fingers. They might. He's more like a, maybe not a, he's going saber to the stop. Oh, sweet. That makes more sense. I like it. And he, uh, he hits with a 22. Does that hit? Yeah, that hits. He does wow. 10 damage. Oof. And, and give me a constitution damage throw. How do I roll that in here? Do you just click your uh, constitution or your constitution oh. thing? Okay. Nine. That does not do it. You are uh, paralyzed for one minute. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, wall, it's not your turn. Figure out what that means when we get back to you. Okay. And the other one... One, two, three, oh, wait. four, um, five, six. He won't be able to get to you. <laughs> Elves are immune to paralysis. I did well, not too know. bad he's not an elf. Yeah. Oh, wait. I shouldn't say this. this game. Jeff, you're up next. Okay. So I'm awake. Hello. So, how much damage did you take? You took... Ten? Did that? Oh, he's gone. I'm curious if that killed him. What? You should be able to open up his character sheet or see his health bar. It says he has six. I healed him for six though last turn. Or back in the uh, the other part. I don't know what his max is. Well. So I'm going to run in. Wait, who so is this? Double? You get yeah, double you got distance, blocked right, off. You run. And now that works. Sorry, what? If you, if you run, you, you sacrifice your action to run twice as far, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Remember, that's a cliff side. Is it a sheer cliff or do is it a... Oh, that's right. It's up. Yep. Oh, shit. You would have to... I think you had to spend double your movement to climb, or a double movement to climb up it. So if you wanted to move it, it'd be ten with a athletics check. Well, let's see. I could run here, twenty-five, and then while you're figuring that out, Scott, that didn't kill you, right? Okay. So if I so I run there, twenty-five, and then. 30, 35, 40. That would give me 10 to get up the top. Mm -hmm. So you'd be at 50 and you have 25, or you have 50 or 60 movement? 60 if I sprint. Okay. So I'm you gonna end up, up I'm going to end up like right there. Okay. So give so me that next check. All right. It's not a very tall wall. You'd have to just, <laughs> it'll have to be a piss poor. Okay, you're fine. Okay. I vaulted with my tail. I sprung. Yourself up there. I coiled my tail and did like a tigger jump. <laughs> that's the wonderful thing Tigger does or something. <laughs> the right, wonderful Griffin. things about Tigger. What are you going to do? I'm going to move to here. And then um, I appear to see some some bad things there. Great. And I'm going to shoot at the one closest to Davril. Okay. He is out of range, so I roll disadvantage, but he's Jason. They um, cancel each other. Okay. So I don't get to roll advantage. Yeah. Damn. Uh, 24. Well, that still hits. How much armor do you have? Okay, nine. You've pierced into his very core. 
Okay. Yeah, you put a bolt in him. He sends his shoulder flying back. He's uh, he's pretty wounded at this point. But he's still upright. He's still upright. Well, let's fix that problem. I'm sorry. Sixteen. Sixteen's a hit. Ooh. He takes a bolt to the other shoulder. <sighs> he glances over at you and breathes and refocuses attention on Davril. The right. arrow to the knee. You're up. Um, I guess I need to get over there. Because I can't see anything of what anyone's like. Yeah. I mean, you can move to either one of these squares within your... And you should have line of sight, because I do. Yeah. I want to move here just so I can actually see shit. See what everyone's yelling about. Are you in range to do anything? No. Oh, well, I can mock them. <laughs> How much That's range do you have for mocking? 60 feet. <laughs> She's also got 5 feet more movement. Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and yell at him across the room. Verbal assault. Hey, fucker! <laughs> Bear fucker, do you need assistance? Bear fucker. Which one are you attacking? Um, I got the one near, uh, Dow. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and, uh, what is that, 14? Yes, DC 14 wisdom. Yes. Alright, here's his wisdom throw. A 17. Mm. Ooh, he's a smart little cookie. He's got the brains of someone else who ate some brains. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's the Pikey's turn. Next up is several Silverkin, the paralyzed magician. Okay. So I, my uh, spell thing one minute. says. That you can repeat your saving throw at the end of each of your at the end of okay you can repeat the saving throw at the end of your turn. Do your Constitution saving throw, Brett. So, so wait, I thought, but I read that wrong. Does if it just like paralyzed? So, you can't do anything. You can't paral move or speak. Paralyzation is basically incapacitated. Can't move or speak. Automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls against the creature have an advantage. Attacks that hit the creature is a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet. That's really all it says. Incapacitated, a creature can't take actions or reactions. So I basically can't do anything. Okay, but you can do except for roll your constitution saving throw again. You get it. What am I rolling for a constitution save? Just right. click constitution. That's right, yeah. yeah. Seeing if you break free from a paralysis. paralysis. Oh, I don't cool. know, honestly. That's a critical fail right there. Oh, save that. Dang. So you are still paralyzed. Okay. Save the character sheet what they are. Okay. So uh, first up, zombie ghoul number one is going to run over and attack Numi. Uh, yeah. With he is going to slash at you, saber tooth style newbie. He gets a twenty. What? Does that that hit you right? Yeah, it hits. He didn't crit. If that makes you feel better, but he dealt nine damage. Nine fucking damage. Yeah. Ghouls are no joke, man. Well, good thing I still have those temporary hit points. Do you? Seven. When do those wear off? They last for a long time, don't they? Did the enhanced ability last for a good long time? I hate when I ask questions. Uh, concentration up to one hour. Yeah, an hour. How long I mean, into been... the uh... rest were we? Rest were we. How oh. long did it take you to get to where you are? Five minutes. I was out like a light. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, to resolve this, I think five hours has, I think about five hours has passed. One, or well, 
up to five hours fine, to pass. Fine. One, Twenty-eight. But then. hold on, one hour to travel to here, to where you were after investigation, move it around, and then four hours worth of long rest. So roll one d five, and if you roll a one, you still have your hit points. If you roll a two, you still have your hit points. Okay, you still a have one. your hit points. Oh, okay. Sweet. All right, so then... And then take away nine. All right. I'm at 32. You're at 32? Mm-hmm. Because I had the 10 hit points from before. In okay, the first it's attack. showing 16 on your character. Did you have my temporary hit points from the first time that she gave me the enhance ability on I am it? not keeping track of your hit points. I just saw the number on your character that said 16. Say no 16. Uh, how are you keeping track of your hit points? When I came on, I had 27 and 10 temporary hit points that I had not touched. So okay. I just took the 10 and subtract them and added them. Because I assumed that the damage I took, I just didn't think where he hit them off. Okay, I, just, I forgot okay. about them when we were in combat. I just want to make sure that you're keeping track of your hit points. I trust you to do that. Okay. Okay, now do a constitution saving throw so I can see if I fucked up your world too. Okay. All right, I mean, that makes sense. Because I had the 10 hit points sitting there. I hadn't touched them. And I took damage during the last encounter, so like my logic was, if I still had the ten sitting there, I subtracted them, and added them to my total because I know I took at least ten points of damage during that last encounter. Okay, I trust you. Just roll your constitution saving throw. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> okay. um, you are not paralyzed. Well, that's good. The other ghoul is going to attack the paralyzed Davril. So paralyzed. So paralyzed means he has advantage on the attack roll. Um, within five feet is an automatic crit. Only if it hits, though. Only if it hits. But he does have advantage. Well, you have like twelve or thirteen armor. Okay, well, you're on the ground, and he's gonna try to bite you. Okay. Pinch. Uh, he rolled a four. Miss. Do anything. Well, he uh, is so dumb, he managed to not bite a prone, paralyzed, paralyzed, paralyzed. <laughs> Next up is Jeff. He needs to kill some zombies before they eat Davril. I'm going to leave that one to Grep. I trust Grep. He will kill the zombie next turn. I'm going to smash the one in front of me. So these things are undead. They are. Okay. 14. Does it hit? 14 is... I believe 14 is a hit. 14 is a hit. 12. 12 is a smash. That thing's dead. Out of the park. Yeah. You uh, swing at it, it bounces off the wall, lands in a pile. Well, not a pile, of, you know, it slumps against the wall dead. A crumpled heap. Yes. Grep, would you like to put some more bolts in him? Eliminate Grep's going to move. And, um... Then I will be attacking that one again, um, but because our wizardly friend is incapacitated, I do not get pack tactics. Okay, so you just get to uh, fire bolt regular mode, 25. This shit's fucking broken, man. Yeah. Seven. That's a kill. He's a whirlwind of death. No need for the uh, offhand, then. Since I killed fucking everything. Is there a dead horse in my line of sight that I could offhand? <laughs> no. Oh. There are oh. horses outside the cave. Are they dead? Stop it, I don't know. You didn't go outside the cave. <laughs> not until I offhand them, they're not. 
Alright, so are we out of combat then? You are out of combat. And that was two turns, so... No, four turns, so 24 seconds? Yeah, that's pretty quick. Alright, oh, let's uh... Alright, 30 seconds, sorry. So uh, everyone, drop to your knees, get your pillow out, and go to sleep. Yeah, okay. let's take this rest back up. Wait, that means that Scott is still paralyzed, right? He's only paralyzed yeah. for a minute. Okay. Yeah. But that's just long enough to go draw a mustache on him. It's, it's, too, it's what? <laughs> draw a mustache on him. <laughs> of course. I'm, I'm curious what magic you have that you can draw mustaches <laughs> with. Wait, I've got, I'm sure I have something in my backpack. Oh, yeah, I'm going to reach into my uh, my bag. <laughs> my awful bag. <laughs> I've, Are you sure I've got chalk. Know? Oh, yeah, chalk's probably better. Yeah, I've got chalk, so now I only have 99 chalk. Oh, because he, there's he, a chalk mustache. He, he, he's been, he's been uh, antique. <laughs> and that's the end of that, uh, that watch. Which, who's taking up the next watch? Uh, Grep will take the next watch. I'm gonna cut off a pair of ghoul hands and stuff in the back. Don't you already have ghoul hands? The necromancer I do not gave have... you ghoul hands. He gave me zombie hands. He gave you ghoul hands. No, he didn't. He did. Were those ghouls in the room? Yes. Oh, well, I'm gonna change that then. Okay, never mind. I don't need those. <laughs> I already have those. <laughs> well, that makes them way more useful, actually, because if they're ghoul hands, they would have paralysis on <laughs> We are all gonna die. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna increase my amount of hands to four and double the weight. So all we're right. Building an okay. octopus monster. So Grep's on watch. Everyone else is sleeping. I'm gonna hop down back to my original spot. Okay. Are you gonna stand watch over the uh, the same area? Actually, I'm gonna sleep up here instead, like by this rock. Next to the ghouls. <laughs> No, I'm going to come down here and keep watch. That way I can see the entrance a little bit, too. <laughs> the ghoul will make a fine pillow. Um, Scott, presumably it's been a minute. Do you want to wake up and move? Are you good with I'm going to wake up and move. Buddy? Yeah, I'm going to wake up and move and get the hell away from the ghoul. I'm going to hop down. Three. Come over here to the rest of everybody else. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna move and snuggle up with Smoking and at least walk over her <laughs> as we just left her. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Grep's watch. Okay. Well, as soon as uh, as soon as Jeff's character closes his eyes, one of the ghouls gets up. What? Grep screams, "Wake up! Wake up! Wake up!" Son of a bitch! We can't have nice things, guys. That's we're I get never, which we are never going to make progress. No. Never. Well, is it the one that I cut the hands off of? Yes. This one? No, yeah. no it is <laughs> not. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. And, uh, and that's legit, too, because you did it like the same time as I did my... So, uh, there we go. This ghoul is getting up. So, wake up, wake up, wake up. Initiative. Yeah. Uh, at this point... It was just at the point where Jeff closed his eyes, and then immediately the zombie got up. So we're not even going to reset turn order. We're just going to jump right back into uh, turn order. At the so, top? Where, like, who the last turn? Um, Did I do it? We, we're just going to start from the start, but right. we're going to move Grep up to the turn order to the top of it, because he's without watch. Um... Okay, so... So grab you up first. Put him back down. I'm going to move just a little bit closer. And then I'm going to... Shoot this guy right in his stupid ghoul face. Alright, go ahead and do it. Put him back down. An 11 is a miss. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Clay, by the way, this card certifies that I'm high. Okay. Is it fifteen a hit? Fifteen's a hit. 
Oh my god. Big old five. And then I am going to use some more of my movement, because I only used 10 feet. Okay. And I'm going to back up to here. Okay. And then my turn is over. Scott? Firebolt. Which get, okay, firebolt it up. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. He's damage. On the ground for real, or... Two. Ooh, you singed his eyebrows real good. Okay, let's see how much movement this guy got. He's got plenty. All right, he is going to uh, one, two, three, four, five, Okay. Quick question. Does anyone know how jumping works? Isn't that a strength check? It's going to be an athletics check. Unless there's some legit rule about it. I think I think it's an athletics check. Okay. Well, uh, this undead un, this undead undead ghoul is mm -hmm. going to run, leap off, and charge at Numi. <laughs> so let's see what his athletics check says. He says he makes it. So mm -hmm. he's right up on... He's diagonal from Numi. And he does not have hands. He's going to try to bite Numi. He rolls a 17. That is a miss. He bites into your armor, and it's like, oh, my teeth hurt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, you dead ghoul. You're up, Jeff. Oh, that's a hit. Is that a kill? No. Crush this. And you hit him with your hammer, and he goes flying backwards. Not really. He just he takes the hit. A mighty blow. Next up is Pikey, who is guarding over Smokine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe poorly so, but... <laughs> well, you haven't screwed up yet. Yeah, I mean, is a. There's always room. Or there's always time for more failure. Wait. Um. That's within 60 feet. Uh, I want to cast Phantasmal Force. Ooh. What the fuck does that do? <laughs> um. I'm just not sure if it works on Undead or not. You can post it in chat and figure it out. Yep. There we go. You fill the mind of your creature of a creature you can see with some something. Yes. Unless the target succeeds in intelligence throw, it believes the illusion is entirely real. Even if its senses will verify this is illogical. On your turn, the illusion deals 1-6 damage. The target stands in or enters the area 5 feet of the illusion, including the illusion space. Well, I think ghouls actually have some... They're not like zombies. No. They have they to definitely... not have be very... Uh... They appear to be susceptible... <laughs> To phantasmal force. They are significantly smarter than zombies. Zombies have a three. Ghouls have a seven. It's Come on, man. Stop looking up stats. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to have to start making up monsters. <laughs> Alright. Um, I want to create an illusion of a firewall within five feet of him. <laughs> okay. Can you draw where this firewall is going to be? Don't know if I specifically can. Let me try. Do you want me to draw it? Uh, yeah. Would you play? Um, <coughs> he's going to draw where, where the firewall is. Okay. This way? Nah, no, so it's not hitting. The, I mean, it's not. Right, the what's real. the, uh... But just, the. Uh, between the ghoul and them. Yeah, what's the size of the illusion? Uh, I don't 
know how big I can make. Doesn't really say how big I can. Sean. I don't know how how big I can make. Wait, Sean. Five. I'm trying to figure this shit. Out. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. It's, this, is, this is the most vaguest shit I've ever seen. It really is pretty vague. <laughs> you feel the mind of a creature, illusory creature. I mean, I think it make takes it. Up, I think it takes up a block. So five feet. Can we split it across two blocks so that we can, like, uh, not that. I basically want him to see, you know, a big tall wall of fire. Yeah, can we do that? Sure. All right, then that's a bright pink wall of fire. Yep. Uh, how do I cast it? You just did. Okay, good. And then if he moves through that, he takes damage. Correct. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, um, I do want to use a bonus action. Oh, okay, like, bonus it up. Uh, I can figure out where it is. You know where my bardic inspiration is? It'll be on your class feature sheet. Oh, there. Uh, bottom right hand. Oh, there it is. Bardic inspiration. And was it, um, Dabble was part of all of us, uh, right? Very I likely. Am. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm feeling about half as good as I usually do. I would like to use this on, uh, Davril. So Davril gains one inspiration die? Yeah. For, what, ten minutes? Okay. He, you can use it on a um, ability check, attack roll. Wait, what do I need to do? Um, it just adds you uh, one d six that you can use against an uh, for an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw for okay. the next ten minutes. Okay. You need to remember to do it. Is what you okay. need to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got you. There is a spot on your character sheet, um, near the top left, where you can click it, and it'll show a dragon in. To remind you, but okay. So, do I wait? Do I need to go ahead and do this uh, saving throw? Oh wait, no. I just moved through it. No. Wait, no, no, no. I do an intelligent saving throw. I think. So. I mean, I cast it within five feet of you. Yeah. Unless yeah, and it was her turn. So. Yeah, so, I yeah, you should have to do a saving throw. Okay, so it's like what is it? A fourteen. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, damn. He rolled a one, but it wasn't a crit because he got minus two to intelligence. So he rolled a th natural three. He rolled a natural three, which brought him down to a one. He is a very dumb ghoul. <laughs> this, is, so, this is what happens when you are undead and then brought back from undeath into additional undeath. The brain deteriorates. <laughs> so then Pikey rolls 1d6 when he moves through it. Right? On your turn, the illusion deals 1d6 if the target stands or enters an area within 5 feet. Oh, so he's close enough to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, 1d6. Go ahead and roll 1d6. This will probably kill him unless you roll really shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Not great. <laughs> well, uh, next up is Grep. This school has one health. <laughs> Grep gonna kick it. Grep's gonna come close. Mm -hmm. Um, mm. there, and Grep's gonna whip this guy. Oh yeah. And. Grep has advantage. A 19? 19 to hit. Hmm, you deal 4? Well, you deal 4 damage, but you know what time it is. Undead saving throw! <laughs> he rolled a uh, 17. He's fine. Next up is 
Uh, oh wait, you have an offhand. So okay, so another one. Of course, I have two whips. Yep, he rolled an eight. He's still good. Next well, up is uh, Scott. Are you gonna kill the ghoul, Scott? He's undead, undead. Yeah, sure. I'll fire it. I'll fire off a uh... hyper beam. Hyper B. A hug. Who um, wants a hug? Hugs do crit damage to ghouls. Guaranteed. I'm just going to do a firebolt. Friendship is magic. You could, well, he is a wizard. 19. Well, 19's a hit. He takes three whole damage. All right, Constitution save with throw time. He's dead. Wait. He's waiting. Oh, so he gets undead fortitude because he's not a ghoul anymore. He's just. A... I don't know why he gets undead fortitude. He just does. He just does. He just does. For reasons. All right. Well, let's go back to sleep then. It's still Grub's watch. And finish this long rest, please. <laughs> and because this is the actual watch and not the inner bull watch, can you give me a, a D12 clay? Remember, 11 or 12, and I, uh, oh, there you go. Whew. No random encounter. <laughs> Yay. But, uh, outside the cave? You do hear the horses whinnying very loudly, and then they stop suddenly. Great. Are we sure D is still AFK and not hunting horses? Yeah, are we sure? Where's her bow? Can anyone see her bow? <laughs> it's so um, tiring. So is, like, what time of, of the rest is this when that happens? At the very end. Very end, so like everyone's waking up and we're having. You were woken up at the end of your long rest to the sounds of very loud and upset horses, and then silence. So the rest is completed, though. The rest is completed. You get back all your fun stuff. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. You rest mm -hmm. successfully. Okay. All right. And did we all hear these horses, or? Me. Do I need to tell them? Woke everyone up. Okay, that's pretty loud whinnying. Mm -hmm. These horses are freaked. Um, I'm going to move to right there and keep uh keep watching towards this door area. Okay. Well, you do not see anything. All right. So, uh, my companions, I'm going to demand. What was that? Do we recognize that it's coming outside the, the exit that we're about? We do recognize that the winning horses came from outside. They were the horses that you passed when you entered. Were they our horses? They were not. No, we just walked. Then I'm not going to scream, my god, the horses went out and hide. <laughs> about those horses. So maybe we ought to go investigate that. At least take a peek, you know? I mean, maybe those horses are in trouble and they need your help. Might be yeah, can idea. I try to stealth out and scout a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah, so, uh, charge out. I don't have a battle map, us, so use your imagination station. Stealth out. Stealth out, and uh, give me a stealth roll. Yeah, ten. You, uh, what are you doing exactly? Are you peeking I'm, or? yeah, creeping, like, keeping corners as much as I can. Okay, you're, we've lost volume on you altogether. 
No, no, I was, wait, I was hearing him. Did he just stop? I heard it. I lost hey, all audio. Clay, on. Clay, say something. Something. Okay, we can, we can hear him. Alright, so I'm sneaking, trying to keep our outcroppings of the wall between me and the way, and peeking and listening and smelling and all the cobalt senses in okay, for so what you, the hell was outside. You, uh, you don't smell anything. You don't hear anything. You see the horses crumpled up on the ground with arrows peppering it, peppering them in seemingly random spots, except the arrows are spectral. The arrows are spectral. Oh, good. It wasn't they ghostly like arrows. Ghostly arrows. Phantom okay. arrows. But I do not see the source of these arrows. You do not. And are all of the arrows pointed in such a direction that they were fired in a volley? Or are they kind of randomly... Like... Uh, you said they were randomly placed. I'm assuming that's where on the floor. It's like, are they did random directions? It appears that they were all shot from different directions. Okay. Hmm. There's a lot of bats. So I'm going to come back in... And um, and I'm gonna speak with uh, with Numi and Draconic and explain all of those things because uh, Grep's common is not particularly good. Grep's common is shit. <laughs> I understand, Grep. I understand. Here, let me let me sense evil. Let's see what I can what I can see or feel. Okay. Gosh. So Taste. you you do your sense evil thing. Yep, I'm doing it. So, okay. An, mine is an Audi. It's an Audi. It's like yeah. a tri beam Audi. Scott's is like, like this. Mine is mine is like out. Okay. Well, uh, you when you sense evil, you sense you absolutely sense some form of undeath leaving the entrance of the cave very quickly. As soon as you come out there to investigate, you can sense that it's booking it in one direction. And you can sense that it's only one being. And as this being leaves your range, the spectral arrows disappear. Do I get a sense of evil or just simply undeath? Evil and undeath. So it's Sylvanas Windrunner then? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, good. Clay What's left the group. Mm -hmm. Clay left a lot of groups. Why did you leave the three? Because uh, I don't like you guys anymore. Apparently. Is it because somebody killed some horses? Yes. I do like that, actually. Okay, well, at least we know that there is a evil, ghostly undead thing out there that just slaughtered those horses. Yeah. So we know we can't leave. <laughs> so treating. Yeah, there's a, a horror in the woods. And on that note... On that note, it's 1045. I believe it's yeah. a good time to... Now that we have a new mystery to ponder... What we calling it, then? I guess so, yeah. yeah. Alright, we're gonna go get some food. Because neither of us has eaten today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's only... It's, yeah, it's, er it's still early for you guys. Yeah, 7.45. Shit, go get you some nachos. Yeah, man. That is an excellent idea, sir. Mm, I want y'all to ponder these mysteries. Yeah, I'm pondering about what that thing is. Uh, so, I guess we'll just talk in the channel... For figuring out when D's next available. Uh yeah, I'll, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Probably probably have some sort of chat going on tomorrow morning or. Sure. Know. She's on Discord now. We can see if she can hop in for. Yeah. Yeah, pinger. Yeah, pinger. So totally pinger. Well, I'm gonna kill the recording. So say bye bye to the recording. Off while recording. Bye recording. Boom. <laughs>